Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to talk about some of the high-end incenses I've been enjoying recently. And to give you a little bit about high-end incense, uh, it's probably not a good idea for anyone to jump into this high-end incense without having some experience of the cheaper stuff because you need to know things like uh, how well the fragrance can spread in the room where you're doing it, how much the air conditioning or other ventilation might affect it, and any other smells like cooking smells coming from the kitchen might affect it. And in, in addition to that, <clears throat> I think it takes a while for your body to tune in to incense. Um, <clears throat> and that's one thing that's especially true with the high-end incense. When I first tried some of these, I could hardly smell them at all. And even after your nose becomes somewhat accustomed to them, it's generally they're not uh, really, really powerful. Partly because of the nature of the materials themselves and partly because the materials are so expensive that the <clears throat> incense can't, um, if they put enough of it in to make it really strong, it would be too expensive to, to even consider for most people bad enough as it is. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with one here. This is called uh, Seikan by Shun Ko Do. Kara Sheik Seikan. And this part here, Kara, is the most expensive incense ingredient in the world. It's a very rarefied form of aloes wood or agar wood <clears throat> which is known as jinko in Japanese. And these, this name Seikan means something like uh, purified view. So anyway I'll just give this a little light up here. And one thing I've noticed also is that a little bit of air motion is useful for enjoying the incense. Yes, it's bringing it to my nose quite well. So a little bit of fanning, and you don't even have to fan directly toward yourself, just get the air moving a little bit. And the rich smell of the kara is coming to me now. Um, so this uh, this particular incense is not the most expensive of Chiara lines. Mm, this might be a dollar or two per stick. Oh no, it's more than that actually. Three or four dollars a stick, let's say. But the uh, Chiara fragrance is pretty pretty well developed here. And this Chiara has a little more well, it's hard to describe smells, so I'm going to use a color, a color analogy here. I would say this is a rather brownish incense. Now, you may have uh, most incense in the regular price range is based on sandalwood, and so many people will be familiar with a sandalwood type base. And I would say sandalwood is kind of brown also, but this. Um, kata compared to sandalwood would be about like comparing ordinary vinegar to balsamic vinegar. So it has much more depth and uh, much more dimensionality and richness to it. And in this particular fragrance, the richness of the agarwood is coming through pretty well. See if I can put this out and save it for later. Another um, point that I think about these expensive incenses is don't burn a whole stick at once. Don't stick it in your incense burner and leave it. Um, the best thing to do is actually even hold it while you're burning it because in some cases the fragrance is so light that um, this will help you appreciate it. And it also will help you not help you remember not to leave it just burning away by itself with no one appreciating it. My next example here is called, um, oh, that's not the one I want to do next. 
do this one next. This is a Shoedo product called Goon, which means five clouds. That's what this says here. And these kanji here mean that this is the short stick version of this, which makes it a little bit cheaper, but it's still enough to set your teeth on edge a little bit. These run about, how much is this? I wouldn't have a stick per stick price, but probably four or five dollars per stick. And Shoedo has um, three three brands or three labels at the top of its um, premium collection. And this is number three in the list. So it does feature um, Kata, the highest quality of agarwood. But the blenders at Shoedo add their own special touch to this. Another incidental point about incense is that the smoke is not what you smell. A little bit below the red part of the stick, uh, the intense heat of the burning coal part of the stick is vaporizing the fragrant materials in the incense, and it's those vapors that you smell. So this has um, a little bit more spiciness. Uh, and to me the color of the Kiara of Shoedo is more blue. And it has a little sweetness, a little touch of sweetness in it as well. And in addition to that, the um, incense makers have added Something like something very spicy. If you imagine a triangle made out of cinnamon, cardamom, and clove, and then imagine that having a special little twang of sharpness to it. And with the real spiciness of food toned down, but just a spicy touch which is adding a little bit of energy to the agarwood. Thank you very much, Go Un. That was very nice. This is the top of the line Shoedo product called Shokaku, which the uh, company has given the English name Transcendent View, is that right? Trans, trans, translucent view, something like that. Shokaku, actually sho means correct or so maybe perfect. And this does mean view, although it's not a physical view of with the eyes, but like the idea of a view or a philosophical view. And actually, um, I think there's a Buddhist connotation to this kanji. There are some famous temples that use this in their name. So let's... Um, I talked to the incense craftsman at the Aoyama shop in Tokyo, the Aoyama Shoedo shop, and he said that this is almost all kyara, as much as they can do. There's not even that much binder in it, according to him. A little hard to believe, but that's what he said. Let's see how this one smells. Whoops. Oh. So, this one has that same sweet and icy blue but it, this is more like electric blue. It's very uh, much more intense. And it does have a similar spicy 
undertone that the Goon or the Five Clouds had. Um, so this is the top of the heap as far as Shoedo is concerned, and it's certainly something they can be very proud of. And the price is really not for people who don't have a steady job, it's running to five or six or more dollars per stick. Um, so if you get this one, be sure to enjoy it very slowly and very carefully. I find myself it helps to go into somewhat of a meditative state before you light these up to really get your senses focused on it and get your money's worth for this wonderful material. So I hope you can enjoy some high-end incenses. Start off with the low end first, get used to it. Then when you're ready you can move up to this good stuff. It's quite interesting and it's a very unique experience and your nose will thank you.